Hey everybody, it's your old pal Mr. Butter coming back at you. Today I'd like to get into a pair of fives that I recently picked up. It seems like Jordan Brand has been giving us a good many fives here lately. I got the Oreos, the Shattered Backboards, and most recently my account on sneakers hit for the Bluebird Jordan 5s, which is a women's exclusive. I gave them a quick look, and these, if prices drop enough on these, I'll be grabbing them in my size. They're very, very dope. They kind of remind me of another Jordan 4 Retro that has an upper consisting of all blue suede. And stick around to the end of the video because I just want to do a little side-by-side -side and show you a comparison, mostly of the materials. If this is your first time coming through the channel, then welcome. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's look at these Jordan 5 Bluebirds. Alright, so to start it out, here's a look at the box. This is a really basic box. I think that this shoe is worthy of having a special box. So it would have been cool if it had like that sky blue color for the jump man or I don't know, just some sort of some sort of indicator on the box that told us that it was the Bluebird 5s in here. But we got this familiar box, flat black top, red jump man, and then that cement print down there on the bottom the tag reads women's air jordan 5 retro and the colors are ice and blue graphite this pair costs 190 bucks retail and let's get into it man oh man in my humble opinion these shoes are fire maybe i should say they're icy these gave me the same feelings that the University Blue 4s did whenever I first saw them. And a lot of people might disagree with me on that. The University Blue 4s had just an insane amount of height. The blue suede on the 4s just immediately, as soon as I saw it, I just loved those shoes. Well, I feel the same about these. They're made really well. At first glance, you can tell the materials are really, really nice. And I don't even mind that silver down on the shark teeth and on the midsole. I, I think it looks good. I'd wear these. I would definitely wear these if they were my size. But at least I hit for Mrs. Butter and my daughter's size. So, so that's just as good as me getting them in my size, I suppose. I am going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these and the Jordan 4s just so that you can kind of compare the blues and look at the suede beside both pairs because honestly I think these are deserving of more hype than what they're getting right now but hopefully there is no hype and I'm able to get my size which would be a women's size 12. That'd be fine with me. That'd be great. One thing that I noticed too is that the reflective on the tongue and the reflective behind this netting area here on the sides, it really, really glows on there. I don't know if there's enough light out to catch it right now because it's getting to be evening time, but I love the reflective hits. So to start off, we've got a typical Jordan 5 outsole tread pattern, but I love this blue. It's like a mix of blue and gray, and I really like this icy blue translucent material. You can see the jump man there at the forefoot. In the midfoot there, it says Jordan, like all fives. Then coming up to the midsole, you can see that icy blue translucent material peeks through. And you can also see that we've got a silver metallic shark teeth there. And then some more of that gray-blue color. Along with more metallic silver there on the back. And I think that looks really, really clean. There you can see like all fives, it's got that visible air unit. 
But then here's the real star of the show. This this suede is just a beautiful thing. It's not super soft or anything, but I love how it's got that fuzzy look to it. I love the color. All the stitching on the upper matches that blue. And I just think it's beautiful. I think it's neat that the stitching on the front of the midsole matches this gray-blue color. I think that's a cool little detail. And likewise, we see that the jump man on the heel and then the jump man on this 3M reflective tongue also match that gray-blue color of the midsole. And that also goes along with this gray blue sock liner. And it's real, real silky. It's real smooth and soft feeling. It's got a real high end feel to it. And I think these things are dope. Dope, dope, dope. Blue is my favorite color. And man, I would rock these if I could find them in my size. I wouldn't hesitate to throw these on foot. I know that. I'd treat them first because I feel like this suede could get marked up a good bit. And actually, that's probably a good time to grab the University Blue 4 and start a little comparison. So right away, you can see that the 5 is way, way lighter than what the blue on these University Blue 4s is. But as far as the suede goes, it's practically the same grade it's like the same finish and the same texture for both pieces of suede i do think that this shoe would have looked good with some black or white on it like the four but i mean i really can't complain about this and like i said i don't even mind that silver i think it's dope but let me know what you think let me know which one you prefer and have a good one